Hello everyone, this is Vaseem from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session in which I'm going to talk about Python in 2020. So let's take a look at the agenda for this session. First of all, I'll briefly tell you what is Python and then I'll talk about the journey of Python followed by company trends, jobs and salary trends and Python skills to master in 2020 to get a job. And finally, I will tell you how Edureka will help you in mastering Python. I hope you guys are clear with the agenda. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Edureka for more exciting tutorials and press the bell icon to get the latest updates on Edureka. And do check out the Python certification training program. The link is given in the description box below. So let's start this session with a brief introduction to Python and its journey to fame. So what exactly is Python? Python is an interpreted open source programming language. It is easy to learn and supports different programming paradigms. Since it is open source and there are a lot of tutorials that are present online to learn Python, it is very easy to learn as well. Although Python started as a hobby project by Guido von Rossum in the 1990s, it has come a long way to become the most popular programming language in 2020. With immense scalability and applications in almost everything you can think of, Python has made its mark with easiest implementations. Python programming language in 2020 is the most prominent programming language. To understand this, I want to talk about a problem. So let's say you need to make a chatbot for your organization. So what all resources can you think of to make this task possible? There will be a lot of research required for this task to accomplish. In practicality, it will almost seem impossible and time consuming. But what if I tell you Python already has a library called chatbot for this purpose alone? Yes, to make chatbots with simplest implementations. It is one of the hundreds of examples where Python makes your life hassle free. And let's not forget how Python started its journey. Python started its journey as a hobby project taken by Guido von Rossum. And it might seem surprising to you guys if I tell you Python is actually older than Java. But most of us had heard about Python in the last decade only. So let's take a look at this roadmap, guys. Python programming language was conceived in the 1980s or late 1980s by Guido von Rossum. And he shouldered the sole responsibility of the Python programming language until recently where he announced a permanent vacation from his responsibilities as Python's benevolent dictator for life. The leadership is now shared by a five person steering council to lead the project and the council includes Brett Cannon, Nick Coughlin, Barry Warsaw, Carol Willing and Guido Van Rossum himself. The Python programming language picked up pace after the introduction of Python 2.0 with many major features including a cycle detecting garbage collector and support for Unicode in the year 2000 and subsequently came the Python 3.0 release in 2008. It was a major revision of the language that is not completely backward compatible and many of its major features were backported to Python 2.6.x and 2.7.x version releases. Releases of Python 3 include 2 to 3 utility as well, which automates the translation of Python 2 to Python 3 code. And Python's 2.7's end of life date was initially set at 2015, but it was postponed to 2020 out of concern that a large body of existing code could not easily be forward ported to Python 3. This was the time when data mining was taking shape into data science and deep learning had picked up pace as well. This shaped into a marvelous opportunity for Python to shine in the market. The development in the machine learning and artificial intelligence was picking up pace as well in the starting of the last decade. With Python, it seemed almost quite very easy and Python has never looked back. Python programming language gathered a lot more attention after the introduction of deep learning in 2006 and there was a lot of speculation about how deep learning would work and Python came to the rescue. This was the time when data mining was taking shape into data science and with the abundant flow of data in the market made sure that Python is going to be the best in the business in the coming age. Now when artificial intelligence machine learning started making the news, the people actually understood how data can change their lives and there was a sudden increase in the Python users which made it evident that the Python programming language is going to change the world. Now to understand this, Python programming language has taken it one level up when it comes to programming. With all round development and hundreds of Python libraries, it can be used for almost anything and Python actually brings ideas or your ideas to life. With sheer brilliance in terms of technological advancements, Python made it easier to implement applications like speech recognition, chatbots, web crawlers with just a few line of codes and out of the box Python libraries. Python is being used for statistical data analysis for almost everything. 
be it a political campaign or a marketing campaign or you want to make a product analysis etc it is being used for everything right now wherever data can be used for a statistic and analysis python is being used there and if you talk about any sporting event all around the globe they are actually driven by data analysis and python comes to the rescue over here as well with the correct set of data and a few machine learning algorithms and python of course you would be surprised to know how accurately a sporting event can be managed to get the best results just by doing some analysis an object detection and library like tensorflow is widely used all around the globe sentiment analysis pattern recognition and even image reconstruction is easily implemented using python and we are using it for various purposes and not just the fancy looking applications python can be used in the finance sector as well to make stock predictions etc even the medicare industry is benefited from python for example risk detection and pattern recognition in disease analysis has given the medical industry one more aspect to explore organizations are building predictive models to detect diseases at an early stage which might be more accurate than the doctors even all thanks to python and the future looks promising as well guys i mean singularity the brain stimulation and cognitive ai will reach to another heights in the coming age and the data flow has been a constant over the years and that is going to be a promising lead for further python driven development since python can reduce on the time consumption people have started to realize the importance of people who actually know python and eventually has created a lot of surge in the market for python developer jobs so let's move on and take a look at the company trends in 2020 so right now data is a new fuel and with the constant flow of data all around the globe it is quite relevant that it should be put to good use and anything that we do online today like we write a post or we like a picture share a post or watch a online video or as simple as search some content online it actually creates a long line of data that could be used for various applications now since python caters to all these applications involving data web applications or any other applications for that matter companies have started hiring python developers in large numbers and some of the prominent names in the industry include amazon we have youtube netflix quora even uber we have spotify dropbox and government organizations like nasa and there is one instagram as well and a sudden increase in the demand of data scientists analyst has created a learning wave across the globe if an organization has data involved in any way there is a strong probability that python might land you that job and if we take a look at the company trends around the globe Python right now is in the highest number that companies are using. After that, we have Java, JavaScript, and C Sharp. And let me tell you guys, the number of users using Python has actually surpassed the number of Java users by 8.2 million this year. And let's move on and take a look at Python job trends as well. So Python jobs in the last decade shows a hockey stick growth, guys. It was pretty constant in the initial years, but after 2016, there has been a significant growth in the job market. Recent data shows that around 50,000 Python related jobs in the UK alone and when it comes to United States the data shows more than 70,000 active job roles for Python and in India it shows around 30 to 40,000 active job roles for Python right now so let me tell you guys this is just the tip of the iceberg and when the fruits of your hard work pays well it is worth it so let us go ahead and take a look at a few salary trends across the world for Python With Python the number of job roles is not just limited to being a Python developer we have several roles like software engineer data analyst data scientist machine learning engineer etc so for a python developer the salary ranges around $77000 a year to $107000 a year and in india it goes as high as 571000 rupees a year for a software engineer the salary ranges from $92000 to $132000 a year and for a software engineer with python in india it would look around 700000 rupees to 1500000 rupees a year same for the data analyst it would look around 62000 to 95000 a year and in india it would be around 596000 rupees to 1100000 rupees a year now coming on the hottest job profile that is data scientist with python the average salary would be around starting from 113000 to 154000 a year and in india it would go around 1161000 to 2100000 rupees a year which is a very good number when it comes to being a data scientist 
And last but not the least, we have machine learning engineer. For a machine learning engineer, it would start from $114,000 to $150,000 a year. And in India, it would look around 828,000 rupees to 1,584,000 rupees a year. And these are only a few job profiles that I'm talking about, which are actually trending. So if you want to actually explore more, there are a lot of job profiles that you can go for. You can actually go for web development using Python as well. So this is just an example guys to show you how salary is looking right now in the Python market. And if you also want to learn Python here is how Edureka will help you in getting a Python certification guys. So for that, let me first tell you the Python developer skills that you have to master before that. Since Python is not just limited to one job role with Python the job roles are as significant as Python is. So I'll tell you a structured skill set. First of all, you have to get through the Python fundamentals, which includes basic Python concepts like variables, data types, functions, loops, conditional statements. Then there is file handling, classes and objects, and exceptional handling, and a few advanced Python concepts as well. So this will be covered in the Python fundamentals that you have to master to get a job in Python for 2020. And after that comes the knowledge of frameworks. So you have to be well versed with the web frameworks for Python. And a web framework is a collection of packages or module which allow developers to write web applications or services without having to handle such low level details such as protocol sockets or process thread management. So you have to be well versed with Django which is a full stack framework. Then we have flask as well cherry pie. Then there is web 2 pi bottle. So these are the web frameworks that you have to be well versed with when you are trying to get a job in 2020 for a Python developer. After that you have to know about objects relational mappers and data manipulation visualization etc. So an object relational mapper is basically a technique of accessing a relational database from an object oriented language which is Python and Django is a big powerful engine that makes a connection to the database which executes the necessary SQL queries etc. And when we talk about data visualization it is basically the act of taking information and placing it into a visual context such as a map or a graph or you know these histograms or all these visualizations that you can see on the screen right now and data visualization make big and small data easier for the human brain to understand and visualization also makes it easier to detect patterns trends and outliers in the group of data after that you have to be well versed in machine learning and artificial intelligence so machine learning is nothing but an application of artificial intelligence that provides systems the ability to automatically learn and improve from experience without being explicitly programmed. And machine learning basically focuses on the development of computer programs that can access data and use it to learn for themselves. On the other hand, artificial intelligence is an area of computer science that emphasizes the creation of intelligent machines that work and react like humans. And some of the activities computers with artificial intelligence are designed for includes speech recognition. After that we have to be well versed in deep learning as well. So deep learning is a subset of machine learning guys and it has networks which are capable of learning unsupervised from data that is unstructured or unlabeled and it is also known as deep neural network. Then you should have an understanding of multi process architecture and analytical skills as well. So data analytics refers to qualitative and quantitative techniques and processes used to enhance productivity and business gain. Data is extracted and categorized to identify and analyze behavioral data and patterns and techniques vary according to organizational requirements. After that you must have design skills. You must have expert design skills in order to get a job as a Python developer. A project is just an idea before design guys. So you must be able to implement an idea with the best optimum results. And last but not least you should have communication skills. So you should be able to convey your skills in a way that the employer must understand your stance easily to capitalize on it. So now I'm sure most of you must be confused about a few of these skill sets because when you learn online through tutorials it does not cover a structured curriculum and eventually acts as a setback when it comes to landing that job. So I'll tell you how you should overcome this in the last segment. So let's take a look at how Edureka will help you in learning or mastering Python. So Edureka actually offers a structured curriculum matching the industry standards. It has industry expert instructors 24 7 support cloud labs. It has hands on projects forum and we have lifetime access as well. So at the end of the certification training 
you will be able to programmatically download and analyze the data learn techniques to deal with different types of data ordinal categorical encoding you will learn data visualization you will be able to master the art of presenting step by step data analysis you will be able to gain insight into the roles played by a machine learning engineer you will be able to describe machine learning work with real time data you'll be able to explain time series and its related concept to validate machine learning algorithms you will be able to discuss machine learning algorithms and their implementations and you will be able to gain expertise to handle business in the future living the present so python programming language has emerged as a leader in the it industry in the last decade and python has helped in many scientific discoveries or advancements for example python is being used for collaborative drug discovery meteorology it is used for scientific data visualization and object detection we are using it for chatbots speech recognition sentiment analysis etc so my suggestion would be guys learn python today and make your ideas come to life with edureka so enroll today to python certification training program with edureka link is given in the description box below and don't forget to subscribe to edureka and press the bell icon to get the latest updates on edureka thank you i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to edureka channel to learn more happy learning